Hello everybody. So I decided to make a video um, because recently I've been getting a lot of questions about my job and what I'm doing and how I like it. Um, I don't know if that's just my mom and her friends on Facebook or if it's actually um, more people than that. However, I just decided to make a video to kind of explain as I'm now in um, going into the fifth month of me being here. So in May, uh, right out of school, I took a job with WGEM News. It is an NBC affiliate in Quincy, Illinois, and that's about four and a half hours away from my home and four and a half hours away from my school. It's a tri-state area, so I live in Illinois, but I cover things in Iowa and Missouri as well. It's a rural area, uh, more rural than I'm used to, but um, five months here, I'm really starting to like it here. Now I know a lot um, of people are asking me how I'm liking the news because when I took this job, I had never done the news before. It had always been sports. That's what I've always wanted to do and that's all I did in college. Um, so uh, right when I started, I hated it. A lot of tears. Um, it was really hard because... Out oh, at the fair. <laughs> I have a shake up but everything is almost canceled because it won't stop raining. So I'm gonna get back in the car with my shake up and I don't know, because everything is canceled. I'm getting thrown stories that I just don't even, I don't know about. I spend so much time investing all of my time um, and knowledge into sports that, you know, I wasn't familiar with things that you know they thought that I would know about or should know about going into the news. Uh, that was really challenging and just not doing what I wanted to do, I think was the biggest problem. It was really hard. Um, I wanted to quit, wanted to go home, um, cried a lot, just complaining and like making my days miserable um, just because I knew I didn't care about it. Um, however, that has completely passed, it's gone. Um, I've actually really grown to enjoy the news. I enjoy getting to tell a different story every day, whether that's something fun, whether it's something emotional, or whether it's a really tragic story. Um, I enjoy being able to tell something new every day. I get to meet people every day and share their story and just see their side of things. So it's really cool to meet somebody completely new and hear their side of the story. Whereas in sports, you know, you follow a team, um, so you know you know all of them and you're just kind of ongoing with them. Um, however, people are also asking, you know, what my life, what my goal is. My goal is always sports. WGEM has been nice enough to allow me to help out with football on Fridays, um, which is what I look forward to every week. So that's been helping a lot. Um, but yeah, I have really grown to enjoy it. And it's taken uh, almost five months, but it's happened. And I'm meeting a ton of people, getting to know the area, and uh, you know, being involved in things that I never thought I would be involved with is has been kind of cool to watch. I am a multimedia journalist, so I come up with my story, I go out and shoot my story, I edit my story, and then I front my story. So a lot of people uh, have questions about that or my fellow MMJs, how many times do you get on a story? Oh, where's your cameraman? Well, you're looking at her. I work day side, so I go in every day uh, around 8.45, 9, um, just so I have time to make some phone calls to get a story going. Um, and then we get in our morning meeting at 9.15 and go over what we're going to do for the day and I'm out the door, and my story airs at five and six every night. So I am, for the majority of the time, on TV every night at five and six. So that is our day side shift. And I work Sunday through Thursday, and then Friday nights I go in for football. I live in an apartment by myself. Um, I kind of enjoy it. I um, have never really lived by myself before, but 
it's cool. And a lot of the people my age at the station, they all live in the same complex. So just to show you guys a couple of the things that I do, like when I say I go out and shoot a story. If a patient here needs to see a specialist, they can now get that care right on this TV screen instead of having to travel. Dr. McPherson says that this not only helps the patients, but it adds to the hospital as a whole. Um, or when I say, you know, I front it, or if I'm in the studio, Jean and Alexandra, activities like bingo are important to senior citizens who play at the Brown County Senior Center. It's something they don't want to lose due to lack of money, and thanks to Dot Foods, they won't be losing anything. Or if I'm live, my live hits. Jean and Alexandra, Quincy High School is quiet tonight, but that won't be the case tomorrow as Quincy Conference is set to continue for a second day. The conference allows teachers to come here and learn new skills to take back to their classrooms, all in an effort to enhance their students' education. Jean and Alexandra, Quincy University history students took a break from their typical class today. They watched the confirmation hearing on TV as their professor told them that history repeats itself. I just put together some clips um, that I will show you. The Macomb Police Department goes around almost every morning enforcing a handful of rules to keep your kids safe while on the roads. And if you're not following those rules... Central 116 traffic. Morning, I'm Lieutenant Hammer, McCall Police. I stopped confusing your phone while you were driving. Gene, I'm here in a public parking lot where police say is a much safer place for online sellers and buyers to exchange items. However, police are making an even bigger effort to make sure that you stay safe during those exchanges. When I first started my live shots, I was so nervous. I stumbled. I couldn't even get... I couldn't even get words out of my mouth and... Um, now that is not the case either. Um, I've learned how to talk in front of a camera, essentially. It sounds really easy and really dumb, but ooh, it was not easy. This is just an update on how I'm doing because I know a lot of people um, ask me all the time. So I finally sat down to make this video so you guys could find out. If you are interested in keeping up with what I do at work, um, you can follow my Twitter, my Facebook, some Instagram. Um, or catch all the stories on the website. I put some stuff on my personal Twitter, which I'm sure a lot of you follow, but I also have a professional Twitter that's just Kara underscore WGEM, and that's where a lot of my stories go that I do on a daily basis. And then the same goes for Facebook. I have my regular Facebook and then my Kara Birnat WGEM Facebook. So if you do want to continue following me or have any other questions, that's how you can contact me. But I just wanted to give everybody an update on how things are going here in Quincy as I've been here for five months and I really, really, really like it. So I just wanted to give you guys an update.